Hey folks, welcome back to Peyote Coyote. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks to all you people liking and subscribing. We're up to about uh, 750, 760 subscribers. So we're edging up on our thousand that we need to uh, get a little monetary help to pay for some of this stuff. But uh, it's all it's all about you guys, man. I appreciate everybody who subscribes and watches my videos and leave comments because I like comments. But today we're going to Put a little natural camo on this. This is my uh, Ruger Ranch in the 7.62x39. I also have the same gun in the 7, in the, uh, not 7.62, in the 5.56. So I have the 5.56 and the 7.62. Uh, so to differentiate between the two, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little paint on this guy. Um, I'm gonna be using some Cerakote C series, brown. This one's gonna be mil spec OD. A little bit of jet black we're gonna be real sparing with that black because we don't want to get too dark on it so like my other videos uh, I stripped all the action out of this on my other paint videos I'm gonna go ahead and take this because I think it's epoxied on there's no screw on the inside here to take it out so got the action out looks like they've beefed these up a little bit which is kind of nice I'm gonna go ahead and trim a little bit off the inside here anyway uh, just because it's real close on one side and especially with the bipod on there it gets close so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, clean my parts like I always do with uh, some brake clean. Uh, but I'm not gonna use scotch Brite this time because I'm just gonna be putting a little pattern on the top. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be uh, painting the entire thing. If I were painting the entire thing, I, I would go over it with some scotch Brite um, to, to rough it up a little bit. Plastic's mostly oil. So this helps get the surface oils off so your stuff will stick. Uh, you want to be real careful about stuff like your medallion because you don't want to melt that stuff. Because then you'd be in big trouble. I don't think you can get that medallion. I mean, you might. Maybe you can. I don't know. Maybe Ruger would send you another one. But uh, we're going to go find a appropriate tree branch here and See if we can I'm not gonna even tape any of this one because this one's got a mag weld that goes in here like like so I want that mag weld to stay in there when I'm doing it so the patterns all match so what I'm gonna do probably is is put a, a bolt through this one and not on this side I told my mag weld up when I'm actually doing the spray portion so I've already cleaned that before I started the video I already cleaned that one a couple times there was some oil in here from the from the gun and you can take off the mag latch but I don't think I'm gonna I think once again I wouldn't mind if it's got a little paint on it uh, be a little more stealthy I guess here but you want to just when you think you got it clean this is the third time I cleaned it you want to go ahead and clean it a fourth time make sure you get everything nice and clean this is gonna be a real simple easy paint job so Get this guy. Notice I'm trying not to touch it with my hands. I'm using the towel here. Your edges are real important right here because without the edge, that's where all your paint can start coming off if it comes off. So you want to clean all that stuff real well. Uh, all right, let's get this thing into our paint booth. Let's get some paint on her. All right, folks, today we're gonna to start with the black. These are what I chose as my patterns. We need to start with black because it's we want it to be the least dominant color. Um, we don't wanna cover up all that original color. We just wanna add stuff to it. So let's get started on the black and then we'll go probably black, uh, a little bit of green, a little bit of brown. Because we probably want brown and, and tan to be the dominant color. So let's, let's give it a go. All right, here we go with our black. I'm gonna start back here. I'm gonna get a pattern down here. Oh, there's a little bit of black on there. See that? I'm gonna switch up to this one.
couple little spots here. I'm not gonna get crazy with the black. So that's barely any. It's on there. You can see there's not a lot. I'm gonna flip it over. Air dry dries pretty quick, so as long as you're not smearing it around on the back, you're you're probably okay. There, there, a little bit there. I'm gonna do the second little row here, just like that. All right, that's good. I'm satisfied with that for my black, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch my colors now. All right, folks, here we go with the little green. I decided to not go with that one anymore because it moves around too much, and I went and picked up this, so we're gonna go with go with this instead on our green. So give it a shot here. Okay. Quite nice, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to put a whole lot down here on the grip because um, obviously that's where you're gripping it and it's more likely to come off. I'm going to go ahead and flip this onto the stand here because the green's a little bit wetter than the rest of it there. use this finer one to go over it with the brown get a little bit on the card there all right I'm liking that right now I'm gonna go ahead and switch off to the brown and then we'll see what we got all right we're moving on to Patriot Brown so the colors we use were Patriot Brown Jet Black and some mill spec OD green. Let's get in here with some of this brown and see what we got here. Back out there a little bit. Brown should add some nice depth to it here. And two different kinds of uh, branches here because that gives it a little more depth than, than you would normally get just from using one. Again, I've got decent control. I've got pretty good control of my gun here. Because I did used to be a carpenter, so. Something takes a little practice. You may not be able to control it as good if you don't have any experience. And we'll flip her over here to the other side.
All right, I think I'm okay with that. Let's see if I can get a little on the front of that thing. Mag wheel. There, feeding certain spots. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a chance to dry. I'll flip it up and do a little bit on the top side, and then we'll see what our results were when we are done. All right, here's the results. Once again, it's all about gun control. Take you out here so you can see in the sun there. So it came out pretty good. I'll take it. Let her dry and put her back together. We'll see what we got. All right, let's take a look at uh, what our results were. So what we started with, this is the 5.56. It's the same stock. And this is what we ended up with, with, with a 7.62. Real subtle, to kind of what I wanted. I like it, it came out pretty nice. Let's take a look at the other side real quick. Stand her up. At the bottom. This side. Pretty stoked, I'm happy with the results. If you like my video today, remember to like and subscribe.